Right, good afternoon. So, the famous pad. Mm -hmm. This is where you write ideas down. So, this uh, is about um, a video which I reposted from Lee Lawler at Newcastle Fans TV. Um, it was shot in America and he was standing next to a guy called J. Now, I did a video uh, about half an hour ago connected to it and um, I put the various acts in there to Newcastle United, to His Excellency Yasser Al Rumian, and to uh, Peter Silverston. Now, in that video, I said I would do a deep dive. So, the deep dive to circumnavigate FFP which is changing to FSR now to our new owners that's what I've wrote down goals to increase revenue at St James's Park now the first part of this you might not understand but I'm going to read it anyway. A virtual St James's Park in the build up to games with a virtual graphics of supporters flags from war flags and also in the idea was all around the pitch were little machines that would blow straight up out of the stadium and at the end outside of the stadium would be whoever was going to be playing that day so that anybody who is coming to St James's Park for a game would be able to see a player and their face on this like a, like a ribbon uh, that's the easiest way to um, to put it across and this would be blown straight up and um, it would blow in the wind so there was that and private boxes which they're going to be more private boxes now with the private boxes um you have your place where you can have your meal have your drinks etc and there is big glass windows so that you can see out into st james's park itself and the idea was to have that glass changed so that images of potential sponsors could be printed onto there and they could like run across as such now like i say this would be so that it was at a height so it didn't interfere with what happens on the pitch during games and the next idea was the fan zones which they're very important and i had the fan zones as the hair market area, manners area, the Gallagher area where St Mary's, St Mary's, Strawberry Place and Sela are going to now do a fan zone. So 
that's one done and also the top of Pitt Street because the top of Pitt Street is a huge massive undeveloped area and also in there on the fourth point was a facelift for the outside of St James's Park and what I meant by that was legends of old who have graced the pitch of St James's Park these legends to have a full from the top of their head to their football boots basically from dripping down over the stadium and this would be all the way around the stadium so that there would be a visual for anybody who is approaching St James's Park where they could spot their favourite player and they could turn around to have their back to St James's and take a selfie image of that. Now, I carried on. Better Wi-Fi inside St James's Park because it is simply atrocious. And with better Wi-Fi inside like um, instant so you take a picture you take a little video boom it's gone it's away to social media now point six statues bronze statues all around St James's Park now there have been many legends who have graced St James's Park. A few of them, yeah. Peter Beardsley, Kevin Keegan, Gaza, and these are just a sample. So it could be that the there could be a commission and the commission would do a full statue and that statue would be dotted around the whole of St James's Park and what I mean by that is that you've got Sir Bobby and you've got Alan Shearer and you've got War Jackie at the moment now if that was to increase so it went all the way around St James's Park the likelihood would be that visitors fans would be able to do a selfie and they might be able to do a video where they turn around and they go well this is my favorite player of all time that brings in exposure and brand to the club now the next one lots of people turned around and said about this never gonna happen why not adoption of cryptocurrency now i personally I have a thing called Jolly Nuts that can be found on WX.network and this is about local businesses within the city of Newcastle upon Tyne and surrounding areas up to and including a 50 mile radius of St James's Park now 
one of the things is this, right? There are lots of different services at St James's Park. Lots. You have merchandise from the club shop. Now, what you used to have from the club shop is no longer available, as far as I know. I used to have every single piece of jewellery on my fingers. From the little finger to this finger, right? On both hands. And at the time when I had all of my fingers with rings on, those rings I cannot find anywhere. They're like gold dust. But anyway, you could use it for meals at St. James's Park, for food and other things. But you have to take this on board, adopt it. And this was point seven. Point eight, naming the stands of St. James's Park. Now, there are people who should have their name up as a stand, a renaming. And some of those people are absolute legends. Kevin Keegan, who came and he revitalised Newcastle United. And one who is contentious because many people did not believe. But without him, there would have been no takeover. And I talk about Keith Patterson. So, as you, as you can see, as I turn the page to page one, that's page one, right there for you. My name at the top, and like I say, when I when I posted this to the old Twitter, man, it got so aggro. Page two. And this was sent to Newcastle United to management in the hope they took it on board and it would create revenue. Now, as I say, on my YouTube channel, I can do a deep dive. No problem. I can't do a deep dive on other platforms because you are limited to time. But to get around Financial Fair Play, FFP, and this new system, which Newcastle Fans TV was talking to Jay about, FSR, implementing those, yeah, they would. They would not only bring in income to St. James's Park for the academy and beyond, but... They would also bring exposure to the brand of Newcastle United Football Club. And as we move forward, all I asked with, the, with that on Twitter was access to the private box, which they on Twitter and other social media well they didn't like that but to his excellency Yasser al-Rumian 
to Darren Eels, CEO, to Peter Silverstone, what do you believe? Do you think that can, that can happen? Because if it can happen, then we can generate money at St. James's Park. And I know for a fact that the club is talking to English Heritage about the East Stand extension. Badly needed, 50 years old. And I know that they are talking to Newcastle City Council about the Gallagher, which again needs the roof taken off so that when war flags do their display, and it is a fantastic, amazing display, it can be seen from everywhere. So, as I said just before there, the only thing I wanted was to bring people into St James's Park, into a box, a private box, and for them to experience a match day experience. So, thank you very much for listening and for watching. Those uh, two pages, and as I say, I will share this to LinkedIn from YouTube. Thank you.